As you can see, I'm holding two things in my hands. One is an RFID card and the other is an RFID tag. The card is authorized while the tag is unauthorized. Now, when I scan the authorized card, you'll notice the blue LED turns on and the servo motor rotates just like a door unlocking mechanism. This means access is granted. But if I scan the unauthorized tag, a buzzer starts ringing and immediately I receive a call on my phone using the SIM 800L GSM module. This is a real-time security alert for any unauthorized access attempt. So this simple setup can secure your door and alert you instantly when someone tries to enter using the wrong RFID tag. Before we start the video, I have a small request for you. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your one like and one subscribe gives us motivation to bring more interesting projects like this. And if you have any questions related to this project, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll try my best to help you as much as I can. Also, if you have any cool project ideas in your mind, you can share them too. So first, we'll mount the RFID reader onto the breadboard. After that, we'll bring in the SIM 800L module along with the SIM card. The SIM card needs to be inserted into the module like this and yes. Make sure the SIM has active balance or recharge, otherwise the call feature won't work. Now, we'll connect the module to the breadboard as well. Next, we'll use an Arduino Uno or you can use any other microcontroller if you prefer, then. Using jumper wires, we'll connect the RFID reader to the Arduino. You can follow the connection chart on the screen. Feel free to take a screenshot if that helps. Next, as you can see, I'm using a three-cell battery holder connected to the input of a buck converter. There are many types of buck converters and you can use any of them for this purpose. The main job of a buck converter is to step down the DC voltage because our SIM 800L module needs four volts and around two amps to work properly. If it doesn't get the correct voltage, the module might not work correctly. That's why we're using a buck converter here. Now I'm adding three 18,650 batteries into the holder. After inserting the batteries, I'll connect a digital multimeter and set it to DC voltage mode to measure the output. Connect the red probe of the meter to the positive terminal of the buck converter and the black probe to the negative terminal. As you can see on the meter, it's showing 4 volts. There's a small variable potentiometer on the buck converter. You can easily rotate it to set your desired voltage. We'll set it to exactly 4 volts because that's the required voltage to run the SIM 800L module. Now let's connect the SIM 800L module. As you can see in this connection chart on the screen, the module has several pins, but we're going to use only four main pins for this project. Starting from the antenna, first make sure the antenna is properly attached to the module because without it, the signal strength may be weak or unstable. Then follow the pin out in the same line. We will be using only these four essential pins, VCC, to provide power, GND for ground, TX for transmitting data. RX for receiving data. Connect these pins as shown in the chart on the screen.
Now that the SIM 800L module connections are complete, I'll go ahead and power it on to check if everything is working correctly. As you can see on the screen, as soon as I power the module, there's a small red LED on the corner of the SIM 800L. In the beginning, it starts blinking very fast. But after a few seconds, it will start blinking slowly. If the LED starts blinking slowly, that means the SIM card is connected properly and the module has caught the network. But if the LED keeps blinking fast, that means there's some issue. Maybe the SIM card is not inserted properly or the network signal is weak. After that, we will connect the LED and the buzzer. I've shared the code and circuit diagram in the description and also in the first comment of this video. You can easily download it from there. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe and don't forget to like the video. All right, now our circuit is complete, so let's move on to uploading the code. First of all, you need to connect your Arduino to your computer. The code is given in the video description, just download it and open it, you'll see an interface like this. At the top, you'll notice some lines starting with hashtag, these are the libraries used in this code. You need to install them first. To do that, go to the Tools menu and click on Manage Libraries. In the search bar, copy and paste the library names one by one. As you can see, I've already installed them, that's why it shows an update option. But you just need to install them. Once the libraries are installed, open the serial monitor. Then scan the RFID card or the card you're using in your project. You'll see a number show up, copy that number and paste it into the code where it needs to go. Here you can see where in the code you need to enter the number that appeared in the serial monitor. For example, if the number shown is A0916120, then in the code, you need to write it like the 0xA00x910x610x20. And the most important part, in the code, you'll find a section where you need to enter your mobile number. This is the number that will receive a call if someone scans a wrong RFID card. Make sure to include your country code first. For example, Pakistan's country code is plus 92. If you're from another country, use your country's code accordingly. After selecting the correct board and port, simply click on the upload button. As you can see, I'm holding two things in my hands, one is an RFID card and the other is an RFID tag. The card is authorized while the tag is unauthorized. Now when I scan the authorized card, you'll notice the blue LED turns on and the servo motor rotates just like a door unlocking mechanism. This means access is granted. But if I scan the unauthorized tag, a buzzer starts ringing, and immediately, I receive a call on my phone. So this simple setup can secure your door and alert you instantly when someone tries to enter using the wrong RFID tag.